What's going on YouTube? Steven Salon guy here and in today's video we're going to be going over some haircut basics. So this video is primarily focused on people who may be in beauty school or licensed professionals. If you are a consumer there are a few things you could probably pick up from this. I will be touching on a few things. It seems like you guys really enjoy my in-depth you know, hair tips or even some theory types of videos where I'm providing real valuable information. You know, I have over 1,400 videos on YouTube. Lots of them have, you know, haircuts you probably are looking for. Or, you know, there's a lot of technical stuff. But I, I do enjoy sharing some more theoretical types of things when it comes to haircutting and understanding. And that's what I'm going to be explaining to you guys today. So I'm ready to go. Let's get started. Before you even pick up a pair of scissors and a comb, in, in my philosophy, in my ways of cutting, and I teach this too in my classes, is there's a lot of things that need to happen before you even start physically you know, doing anything, before you start cutting hair or combing it. There's a lot of stuff that needs to happen, and I'm gonna kind of break it down with you guys uh, step by step. So with hair cutting, there's the theoretical part or the psychological part, and then you have the actual hands-on stuff. Okay, this is, this is actually putting the skills and the physical art of cutting hair into practice. That's what this is. And don't mind my handwriting. <laughs> I don't have the best handwriting. But let's start with the first thing here, communication. All right, communication. So as a stylist, right, um, the most important thing you need to understand is how are you communicating with your clients? That's what we call the consultation. So, and, and this also, you know, is important for consumers because a lot of times you as a client will, will go into a salon and you may say, oh, give me a mushroom cut or an undercut. And you're throwing out these terms to stylists that they may or may not really understand what that is or what you're looking for. That's why sometimes I suggest showing a photo if it's something you exactly you're looking for. In my last video, in my hair tips video of you know, names of haircuts, I broke down, it's not always about the name of a haircut, it's more about the technique. All right, and that's where kind of that's where you can convey that message a little bit easier. It's sharing the technique uh, of what you're looking for, so that the stylist is like, "Oh, I get it now." All right, so communication is very, very important. Most of the times, when a client sits down, what I do, this is basically my consultation. I've said this before. Is I, I basically start with, "I'm going to look through your hair, and I'm going to kind of look for some trouble areas, see how the hair is flowing, and then I'm going to give you some suggestions on what I think is going to work best for you." I'll start running my fingers through it. And what you're doing is you're looking for things that are going on in the hair, meaning you're looking to see if it's unbalanced or uneven. You're looking to see why the hair may be a bit choppy in some areas. You're just looking for, you know, trouble, you're troubleshooting basically. Because you as a professional, you know, and this is this is now where we're getting more into this, should be able to know what to do to actually fix it. So find out what exactly it is you're doing for that client and then the next part is the confidence. Confidence is very very important because if you can't talk a big game and not be able to execute on the haircut. So if somebody comes into you and says oh my hair is laying very flat or my hair has no this, it doesn't do that, whatever it is, you have to have the confidence in yourself and your skills to say I can actually fix this. I can make your hair, after I'm done cutting it, look the best it's ever looked and you're going to get that vibe, you're going to get this, you're going to get that. You have to have the confidence in what you're doing or else they're not going to buy into what you're trying to sell them. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like being a, sale, a bad salesperson. You have to have that confidence in what you're doing. And that comes from the execution, meaning you actually cutting the hair, right? This is when the whole part of it starts, what you're actually physically now cutting the hair. You have to be able to know that if you hold a piece of hair and you cut it this way, you're going to have a reaction. Something is going to happen, right? What exactly is going to happen? You could butcher the hair. You could totally like make it lay improperly because of how you're cutting it. You can thin it too much. You could do a whole, you could create a damn disaster if you don't know what the hell you're doing. The execution of all this talk that you're, that you're trying to sell your client, you have to be able to do it. Now, the last part of this. The last part of this, the closing, right? With like presentations, you have the open, the body, and the close. How are you closing your haircuts, right? When I, when I close out a haircut, all right, I'll give you a perfect example. Don't go anywhere. So what I usually do is 
after I'm done blow drying it, I tell the client, okay, and you can watch this in all my videos. I tell the client, okay, bring your head back a little bit. All right, so they bring their head back. I rake the hair all the way through, right? I run my fingers through it like this. I'm, I'm now working in those layers that I just cut and blow dried and it's all falling right into place. Okay, and I say, all right, now bring your head forward a little bit, bang, the hair comes forward, and then I bring it all in. I go, oh my, look at this, look at the layers, see how that shape, I'm looking in the, in the monitor here so I can see what the hell's going on over here. So look at, look at all these layers, okay, turn the head around, and I say, see how gorgeous and seamless this is, look at that. So before, you didn't have this because it wasn't cut properly, but now, look at that beautiful shape, okay, look at that piece right there. What you're doing is you're, you're literally closing the haircut, the experience, you're closing the experience by, by reassuring them that, all right, you had great communication from the start. Your confidence is what you know helped you say, "I can solve the problem." You did the haircut. You did the haircut, and now you're closing the haircut, saying, "Okay, this looks gorgeous." After you know, you can take selfies. You just have have fun with them. Have some, you know, just enjoy the experience. And then you say, you know, just so you know, this haircut is going to look phenomenal in three to four months. I'm telling you right now. I know that's bad for business for me, but I'd rather have you coming in four months from now and still looking phenomenal, and then we can reshape it. So you're gonna get a lot of longevity out of this. The only thing I, I do you know, kind of advise is that I do book up pretty far in advance. So I would say you know, three weeks or so before you think you need a haircut, maybe contact me and we can lock something in. But I, I'm, I'm guaranteeing that your hair is gonna grow out beautifully because of all that work I put into it. That's how you close it. And then you can discuss products. You know, let me walk you to the front. Those the products I use on your, on your hair today, blah, 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 here it is. And you walk them right to the front, take the products, and you bring it over to the front desk, and you close it out. So the closing of the haircut is just as important, right? So write this all down. You know, again, this is great for if you're in beauty school, learning about this, or if you are a hairstylist. Again, this is stuff that I teach my private classes. I do private hands-on classes here at my studio in New Jersey. So, you know, the only thing I'm not doing today is going over an actual full class. But let's talk about this. And this is, this is information that if you're in beauty school, depending on the school you go to, you're getting this information. Maybe not this part of it, or it's being you know, taught in a different way, but what we're gonna talk about now is the actual technical part of hair cutting. So when it comes to hair cutting, you've got the technique, and the shape. <clears throat> That's how you have to look at hair cutting. Just my background as far as being a hair cutter, I went to Vidal Sassoon in London, right? I didn't go to Florida, California. I went to London, England. I wanted to go where it all started. I used to, when I, when I was younger, I used to watch VHS tapes, video cassette tapes of British guys cutting hair. And I used to worship these people. I, used to, I was just in a daze watching these guys cut hair. And I just was like, oh my God. And, and everything usually stems back to Vidal Sassoon and the foundation really of hair cutting and how he broke it down. Everything usually stems from that. So in this, you've got techniques and you've got different shapes. The techniques, you've got a one length haircut, you've got graduation and you've got layering. That's the technique. So one length, meaning it's all, there's no layers. The hair goes from here the scalp all the way down to wherever the length is where it stops, and that is one length. There's no layering, that's the heaviest the hair is gonna be, and that's it. Graduation is when you know, you're, you're creating a haircut where you're building weight. See right here, say we have like a stacked bob, we're building that weight into here, it's like building a house, and then we've got this tapered in. So graduation is your, your building weight. And then layering, like what we have here, is removing weight. One length, graduation, or layering. So you're removing weight. And that's why this haircut is able to flow so nicely because it's got that, uh, the layers, just like that. That's why I can swing around because the technique of the layers. So then <clears throat> you've got the shape. Once you have the technique down, you're going, okay, what kind of shape am I gonna do? So you've got square, meaning that, you know, if the hair is basically straight out like this and cut up and down, like a box, it's like this. Then you've got uh, round, where it's usually shorter in the front here, and then goes longer, so you're creating a round kind of circular shape right throughout here. And then you've got triangular, where a triangular shape 
would be something like this. So say you've got uh, a bob here, right, and it's brought up, and look at the front. See how the front is a bit longer? I'm just, I'm just pretending I'm creating a little bit of an angle here. So now I've got a triangular shape where it goes shorter into, into longer this way. That's a triangular shape. So now, if someone has a bit of a rounder face, and they're trying to narrow it down a little bit, or elongate them, that's where you use the triangular shape. So as you can see, the different shapes play upon each other. So if somebody needs a little more fullness, right, if, if they have a very you know, narrow face or very thin, you want to start to build that weight. You don't want to do anything that's going to elongate their face even more, right? And then square, you know, if somebody's got a very square face, you don't want to make them look like a freaking box, right? You got to create some roundness or create, you know, you can use both shapes. You can have a round triangular shape. You can start incorporating all these shapes, but it's all based off of different techniques, right? Are we gonna do a round one length? Meaning, are we gonna have it all one length, but we're gonna open up right into here a little bit? It's still one length, there's no layering. Are we gonna create a you know, triangular graduation where we're gonna, we're gonna build weight back here, but we're gonna leave the front longer, right? Triangular graduation, uh, you know, round layering, which is what I usually tend to do most of the time, so I like everything to be balanced and follow the way the hair grows out. And, and that's really understanding the techniques and the shapes. As a hair cutter, as somebody in school, what, if you can really understand and grasp that concept, you can simplify all hair cutting. What kind of technique am I doing? What kind of shape am I doing? The way I cut hair, I'm not looking to do any sort of circus acts or any sort of freak techniques. I'm a very simplistic hair cutter. And my goal is to make someone look glamorous, to make someone look gorgeous, whether it's male or female, I want them to have the best haircut they possibly have. A lot of times when you're seeing a lot of people cutting hair, they're doing a lot of freaky techniques and things that, yeah, we're gonna you know, disconnect all this, we're gonna cut this short here. You're, but what happens is, you know, four weeks from now or five weeks, you know, the client's going, wait a minute, Where's all my hair? I got a huge gap down here. The things are all disconnected. No, the way I cut hair is I want the hair to grow out beautifully and they can come back into me in four months or five months and it looks still stunning. A lot of these crazy techniques that you're going to learning in classes of you know, 18 different sections and you're standing on your, on your head to do a haircut and hanging from the ceiling to do whatever the hell it is. To me, that's cool for a show, but it doesn't always mean it's gonna translate into the best haircut for the client, all right? So now, let's talk about this. This is the most important part and then we'll wrap things up, all right? And I appreciate you wa standing or watching us the whole time. So, when clients come in, right, they know the trouble areas. If somebody comes and says to you, I, I'm telling you right now, if you cut my hair shorter than this point, it's an absolute disaster to fix and, and to style. I know my hair, trust me. Then you kind of listen to them, because trust me, they know their hair. They know the trouble areas in their hair. Or if you cut this too short back here, guess what? I'm gonna stick up like a porcupine right here. You can't cut this shorter than this, it's gonna be a disaster. I know my hair. You gotta listen to them, trust me. They also know the mistakes, right? They know like my hair is all choppy here, it's uneven. Clients can pick up on what the hell is going on with their hair and they'll, call, they'll, they'll mention it to you. If you're not seeing it, they'll call it out. And then the expertise. You have to be the expert, right? You have to be able to help that client. You have to be able to execute the haircut and they're relying on you for your expertise. And that's really what it comes down to. Again, clients know their hair with the trouble areas. The mistakes, can we fix it as professionals? And can we give a great haircut? What I would love for you guys, and you can literally watch dozens of my haircut videos. Search in whatever you're looking for, layers. Just add the salon guy to it when you're searching on YouTube. Short layers, the salon guy. Long layers, the salon guy. Medium layers, the salon guy. Bangs, the salon guy. Undercut, everything. Just search it and add my name to it. I'm telling you, how to grow out your hair, the salon guy. Just add, just add the salon guy to it and I'm telling you it's gonna help. So my goal from watching my videos is to get you guys to understand what layering is, how to do the right haircut. And I've, I've done videos on my most incredible haircuts that I charge, you know, 150. I'm, I'm probably gonna be bump myself up to 200, 250 um, because these haircuts, I mean, look at this. These are gorgeous haircuts 
and I put a lot of time into this. And um, you know, if you watch my videos, you can you can you can do it. Again, I also offer private one-on-one -on -one education here at the Salon Guy Studios. So if you're look if you're interested, I'm in New Jersey. Just you know, DM me on Instagram, the Salon Guy. Go to my web, thesalonguy.com. You can get a hold of me. It's not hard to find. You know, to email me or something. So let me know if you're a stylist that wants uh, ongoing education. So anyway, guys, I hope you found this video helpful. Please leave comments below. If you're a consumer, let me know if you're you know, uh, in school. Let me know if you're a stylist. I'd love to know if you found this video helpful. And, and if you want to keep uh, seeing more videos like this, you know, you like this setup here, you like me drawing things out and, and go over more tips and techniques, I'd love to hear. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time for more videos with the Salon Guy.